Welcome back to Wine and Wins. I'm your host, KP, a marine biologist with over a decade's worth of experience working with marine mammals. But today, since it's Shark Week, I'm gonna wade out a little past my comfort zone to talk about one of the most misunderstood animals on the planet, sharks. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and head on down to the descriptions below for ways that you can help support the channel. There are over 400 species of sharks worldwide and less than 10 are considered dangerous to humans. However, Peter Benchley's novel Jaws hit the shelves in 1974 and people have been afraid to step in the water ever since. But the truth is that sharks' reputations are far more fearsome than their bite. Last year, there were only 10 unprovoked shark fatalities worldwide. And the majority of these attacks are just a case of mistaken identity. Many shark experts believe attacks on surfers could be the shark confusing the surfboard for prey. Sharks are predators, and larger sharks, like the great white shark for instance, prey on animals like seals and sea lions. And for good reason. For one, the seal population is incredibly healthy. But more importantly, seals have an enormous layer of blubber that is just packed with calories. This is one of the reasons why seal pups are weaned at such an early age. And if you want to learn more about ocean babies, click on this video right here. Unlike humans or even sea otters who have extremely dexterous paws for exploring their environment, sharks really only have their mouths. That's why a majority of shark bites are what's known as exploratory bites. They're also known as test bites and similar to how an animal like dogs and even sea lions will explore their world. In addition, sharks are hunters of opportunity. So when they come across something that looks like food, they're going to take a bite. Usually, once they bite a human, they quickly realize that it is not a seal. We're way too lean and bony, and so they'll usually spit us out and just move on with their lives. The same thing usually happens when they attack sea otters. Southern sea otters and harbor seals cohabitate in the kelp forests off the coast of California. An ecosystem which has a high population of great white sharks. Unfortunately, sharks will sometimes mistake sea otters for seals. Even more unfortunately, even though it's a case of mistaken identity, a sea otter is not likely to survive an encounter with a great white shark. Now in researching this topic, I came across some interesting stories of sea otters eating sharks. This is pretty rare. Sharks are much better swimmers than sea otters are. However, sea otters are also hunters of opportunity. If they somehow catch a shark, they will definitely eat it. The one piece of jello. And the same has happened with seals and sea lions. The prey becomes the predator. And I think this highlights the complicated nature of the food chain. It's not always a simple pyramid. The truth is, the ocean isn't the friendly place depicted in Disney movies. It is either eat or be eaten. While the ocean is a dangerous ecosystem, it is also a vital and fragile one as well. While 10 people were killed by sharks last year, over 100 million sharks were killed by humans. Removing any species from an ecosystem, especially in that kind of number, can be devastating for the environment. There is some good news, however. In 2019, Canada became the first country to impose a national ban on the import and export of shark fins. 
And just this year, the U.S. did the same, banning the commercial shark fin trade and making it illegal to possess, buy, sell, or transport shark fins or any product containing them. If you want to learn more about this topic, head on down to the descriptions below and I've posted links that'll help you further your knowledge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. See you next time.